YouTube, what the crap's going on? What the salt is going on? Welcome back to ancient Carthage, circa 213 BC, where, I think in line with actual history at the time, Hannibal was invading Italy and probably had settled himself into Capua. Um, it's just that he hadn't come from the south, and uh, his reinforcements from the north had not been so successful either. But hey, you know, we're not here to to uh, redo the history book. We're here to rewrite a history book and throw all kinds of curveballs in there, should we choose to. And guess what? I choose to. <laughs> That's right. Why? Because I can. I'm recruiting more Sacred Band up here. I've already got plenty infantry. We probably want to start loading these up on our boats soon and get them over to help in the fight against Macedon. My, uh, my corrupt bribes have made some pretty good progress in hurting Macedon's armed forces a lot. Like, a whole lot. I'm going to do a little scouting, though, and just see what they've got up further north, and there's a lot more. So, anyway, my bribery will probably know no bounds. Uh, let's see, what else are we up to here? We do have some, um, some jerks that are rebelling against us, and I had my general... Was it this Utica guy who was chasing off all the... I think it was this guy that was chasing off all the rebels. What we could do, though, not that I really need it at the moment, because I actually do have a lot of family members at the moment. Um, I'll just take one of the family members, and I'm going to send these same four Libyans and a couple of cavalry units. We'll just dispatch him uh, to go continue to kill off um, peasant stacks. I do have a governor out here. have one in Demidi, got one in Sirta. I think we have one out in Tingi even. Yep, we do. This is good news. We've got governors spreading throughout the land, which will certainly help uh, from a public order standpoint and, you know, ho hopefully in general just be a good thing for us. I have an army here that are awaiting one more sacred band um, phalangite here, and we're going to wait for that. I say phalangite. They're more of a... I should have said hoplite. They're a hoplite. They're not a phalangite. Um, let's see. Hannibal is retraining... The Romans may be about to do some of my own corrupt stuff against me here and try and bribe Terran to him. That very well could be the case, because I don't have a governor there. I mean, with this strong of a garrison, though, I'm assuming that becomes hard for them. We should get an assassin. In fact, we should probably get multiple assassins and um, make an attempt to uh, convince the Romans that their bribery is a foolish idea. There we go, I got three assassins, and so we'll see what we can do about killing off Roman agents, and then if our guys no longer have Roman agents to kill, we can certainly um, kill off uh, Macedonian ones. I am preparing another army here at Carthage, for those of you who may not have seen the last one, which I always recommend that you do. So I'm getting some Sacred Band together and some Libyans, and I honestly think I'm going to send them to Italy. Egypt is fine. Um, like, I, I feel like, oh my gosh, those upgrades we got from the Egyptian settlement are so beautiful. I'm gonna merge some of these, um, how come we don't get the auto merge? Huh? Can we only do it outside of a settlement? Huh. Certainly is available outside of the settlement here. Let's take this army out of settlement. Uh, no, I didn't mean to save it. I meant to hit control A. There we go. But hey, just in case. Never hurts. Let's start retraining all of my Iberians and other heavily damaged units here that will get the numbers. Oh my, we can retrain these mercenaries too. Actually, I think I am going to retrain the mercenaries quickly, and then I'll dump them into this other army. Keep this army at Memphis and send the other army off to Alexandria now that it's got some pretty solid upgrades. These are some really nice upgrades. In fact, silver, silver, and then they have some chevronage going on too. So, let's merge. Why is it I can't merge these units? There it goes. I, I mean, it wouldn't... Maybe I was just looking in the wrong spot. It wouldn't give me the merge option, but whenever I drag them on top of each other, it does. So, that's good. There's no more uh, mercenaries to be recruited, because I'm pretty sure they're all in this army. Okay, so let's check the building status. This is something I like to stay on top of. I like to keep buildings building all the time, as long as I have the money to do so. I'm going to build up a dockyard at Palma. Dockyards have proven useful, especially if our enemies suddenly end up with a whole lot of navy. 
Uh, cavalry stables in Syracuse would make sense. It's Sirta. They're quite happy at the moment, so let's go ahead and do the irrigation. Should give us better farms and better incomes. Do the same thing at Scalabus. Better farms. And Demedi. Go with the farms. Yeah, I mean, because we don't need to worry about recruitment out there. Lepsis. The shipwright could be useful, honestly, at retraining some stuff, or the dockyard, I should say. So let's do the dockyard. Basilia. Um, here I am doing a lot of recruiting. However, I mean, I can recruit all the things I need to at the moment, so let's go ahead and do the crop rotation. Head to Messana. 20 infantry, and it would be good to have 20 infantry available pretty much all over the place, but we're still building in Messana, so I don't need to worry about that. Asturica, let's go ahead and put in better farms. Can't do anything in Nepte, Narbo. The awesome Temple of Baal is always good because we can recruit Sacred Band. Uh, farms at Cyrene make a lot of sense. Croton. Wouldn't hurt to get these mines built. Speaking of income, at Tarantum. Um, public order is pretty solid at the moment. Let's go ahead and just. Uh, the communal farming. We could use the growth there. I'm probably not going to have enough money to get buildings in every single settlement here. And at Capua, we probably want to do the awesome Temple of Baal as well. We can't build anything at Siwa. So I did have enough money. Perfect. That lined out rather nicely. I'm going to get my assassins. Try and get rid of these Roman jerks over here. And um, then we'll kind of go from there. Diplomat got blocked. That's okay. He's just on a scouting mission up here. So... Not the end of the world. Let's end our turn. Looks like I have some boats headed back to Carthage for retraining. Probably a smart move because I'm about to be transporting a rather large army. I think it's amazing the Greek city-states have not been rolled over by Macedon yet. And I think the Greeks actually hold the settlement over in Asia Minor. My eyes aren't betraying me there on the mini-map. And what looks like that Macedonian settlement, that's not Macedonian. I believe those are rebel-held <coughs> settlements that are in the dark black, and that Macedon is the slightly lighter shade of black there on the mini-map. Again, if my eyes aren't deceiving me and I'm seeing it appropriately. Alright, got our army headed over. Carthage, we've got a couple more turns before I finish this sacred band. I've got some elephants here. What I could use um, out of Thapsus would go ahead and be some long shields to help kind of round that army off. Um, we don't have to have everything in place, but it'd be nice to have good stuff in place. Then do some retraining here. We've got a decent number of Iberians. Wouldn't hurt to start getting some Libyan spears and some cavalry put together at Careless. The Romans are inbound with numbers. Let's retrain our ships at Carthage. Lady Biome's going to need some more garrison in order to make them happy. Might not be a bad idea just to kind of keep some, like, Libyan spearmen on standby. And then, what do we got um, in this fleet? I mean, it's a pretty decent fleet. I think I'm going to take this fleet up and try and intercept this um, small navy spam from the Julii. And then there is some Macedonians, I think, trying to blockade me here. They have... They have heavy ships, uh, two heavy ships, but they're just very depleted, I think. This navy I have over here, the heaviest I have is Triremes, so it's not immensely powerful. We are running into uh, other Triremes and Biremes here, so it should be fine for the moment. Now we've run into a couple of Quin... No, these are all Triremes. I'm going to test my luck here. Fortune favors the bold, folks. Fortune favors the bold. It worked out. So let's go ahead and retrain these ships. I don't have assassins at these settlements yet because I'm still training Sacred Band. Ah, crap. We should have one here. Let's see if we can get rid of this uh, Julii diplomat. Yeah, you know that I, like, I actually want you to come out here and kill him. Bring your scythe over here and wreck him. But is there a reason why? Okay. 
Okay. Assassin ready. I am right clicking the Julii diplomat, and it just goes to this screen. So. Kill Tiberius. All right, can can we do this? Maybe this is the way I have to assign it. The right click thing is not working. Maybe because he can't reach him. Anyway, I've got him clicked on a mission to kill the uh, Roman diplomat. There's another one headed our way, so having these additional assassins is not going to be a bad idea. So instead of recruiting them here, which is going to fall in behind these other units, I should just go ahead and maybe recruit more diplomat or uh, more assassins here. Let's continue retraining Hannibal's army. Yeah, I'm remiss to pull some of my garrison out of Tarantum with that Diplomat standing nearby because it will make it much easier to bribe the settlement. Still some large Macedonian armies crawling around. Then as far as my army here, we should probably get rid of this, like, depleted unit of Hoplites. As they will not do me much good. And we should probably replace them with a larger unit. And then, as far as what we're building at Thermon, we should get an army barracks built so that we can... Uh, crank out pointy infantry over here. Pointy infantry is going to do pretty darn well against everything except for royal pikemen. Sacred band will plow through even royal pikemen. Um, unless they've changed the balancing of the game so much that that is no longer true. That was certainly true back in the day. The sacred band, short of Spartan hoplites, um, they were tough. Like, I don't, I don't know that there's a whole lot of other... Phalanx units going head-to-head -head with Sacred Band and, and coming out to, to brag about it. Armored Hoplites for the Greeks were also quite good. I don't remember who would win the fight between Armored Hoplites and the Sacred Band. I want to say that maybe that goes to the Sacred Band, but obviously Spartan Hoplites were the strongest Phalanx unit. Royal Pikes were quite decent. Um, in fact, they're probably the best, like, Phalangist unit. I don't know. I'd have to compare them to Silver Shield Pikes, both of which are good um, so we lost a diplomat there and a governor at Cordoba. That's okay. We were kind of expecting to lose that governor, and we had transferred over his, um, we had transferred over his followers, so that shouldn't be a big deal. We have a coming of age at Cordoba, who is not in the settlement, um, because it's full. Let's send him to Scalabus to govern. And then I have an additional general at Carthage. And we can drop some of these generals elsewhere. Like, I could use one in Lily Bayum right now. I've still got a couple of turns till these Sacred Band are recruited, but I am replenishing my ships at the moment, so I'm not going to move them at the moment. Just kind of see what's going on in Egypt. Let's take these now retrained mercenaries, place them into this army to make it stronger. Let's bump Captain Tanu. Tommen, or whatever, out of the way here. And I'm going to go siege Alexandria because it has a rather pathetic um, garrison at the moment. And I'm going to try and force the Egyptians to come best to this army, which is honestly pretty well equipped at the moment. Moment. This army down here can finish its retraining. And then we can begin recruiting new troops. We have enough cavalry here. We have a decent bit of Iberian infantry. Uh, we can certainly stand to have some heavy spearmen. So I'm going to grab some uh, Libyan spears uh, as far as what I need at Memphis to kind of help hold it. We'll have to get Thebes as well, but Egypt in trouble. And Thermon is going to be in fine shape. Like, it's going to be very difficult for the Macedonians to take Thermon because they just don't have units that are better at fighting on the walls than we do. <laughs> it's an unfortunate reality for Macedon. Um, it's just not where they want to be. Now, what they could do is siege me out and try and force me to fight in one of those disadvantageous situations. All right, there's no mercenaries available in the remnants of northern or the remnants of Gaul here. This is no longer is it a Gaul town. No, it says it's what? Yeah, Gaul still there. I thought Gaul was extinct though. Yeah. yeah, I think it just shows Gaul on the map still, because my map information is behind, because right here you can see that it's rebels on the coloring there on the map. Rather large Roman army right here. Go ahead and grab these Samnite mercenaries. I'm not terribly scared of this Roman army. If they have others to back it up, then I might start to become scared. Start to get siege equipment. This will probably force the Romans to fight me here, which I feel 
fairly confident, you know, we can cause that to end in our favor. So... Let's mark everything as complete. Go take care of any buildings we finished off. Let's get the large temple to mail court. Actually, at Carolus, I don't need the temple to mail court as much as I could use some additional military recruitment. Because we've been having to do a lot of military recruitment from there. Um, we definitely want to keep working on public order at this settlement. And some of you wanted me to do more enslaving too, just in order to um, help out with. Uh, let's get the large temple to build to help out with growth. I'll do that because they were saying, "Hey, you can use pointy infantry in like Italy and these other places because they're pretty readily available." But up here, you're struggling with it, so maybe you should enslave people. I'll I'll try it. We'll do it. I mean, I don't see why it would be a particularly bad thing here. This army is now ready to march against the Germanians. It's, you know, it's um, not perfect. We don't have a commander here, but we might get one promoted. We might be lucky. But with four sacred band, Ger Germanic war band, I mean, they lose like tenfold, maybe more to sacred band. Um, spear war band may be a phalanx, and they may be effective at stopping cheaper units like Iberian infantry, but they will not be effective at stopping Sacred Band. Sacred Band are going to cut a hole through the Spirit War Band like they're a hot knife going through butter. I mean, it is not even going to be close. Not even close. Um, let's wait for our assassination attempt before I empty the garrison at Terran Tomb. That'll probably keep the Romans from being able to bribe me. If I leave it too empty, they could certainly potentially get away with a bribe on some Town Watch. I think that the bribe amount and difficulty probably has quite a bit to do with the size and quality of the garrison. Though, I could be wrong. You all can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty certain that that's the case. Our Seleucid Protectorate is still alive and kicking, and indeed it looks like the uh, Julii are going to attack us outside of Arimnium. Hang on, let me see if I can say this right too. I never can. Now the name of it's not up here, so I'll try it again here in a minute. Large Roman army, multiple artillery pieces, not a whole lot of infantry though, and I think the Romans will probably not live to regret that. And the reinforcements coming in do contain the Roman faction leader, which is Marcus the Cunning. We shall see how cunning he is. We'll need to make sure he's a target. But with a 109 um, man bodyguard, Marcus the Cunning, I, again his cunning remains to be seen, but the power of his bodyguard is quite evident. It's possible he's just compensating, but, you know, we'll find out. Like I said, 109-man bodyguard is a very powerful unit. all do their duty, we will profit from today. Bend your backs to your tasks, and all will be well! Alright, here we go. My Iberians, I'm gonna flank them with, um... Libyan Spears, and I'll put one Spear unit in the middle in case the AI YOLOs towards me. But basically what this does is it's almost kind of like Hannibal's formation at Cannae in a way. I mean, I'm not set up in a crescent, but I have my weakest troops in the middle and the strongest ones on the flanks. And with the idea of just being able to, you know, have your hardest hitting stuff go on on the flanks. Hannibal obviously um, had that engagement go to where the middle began to fold. But then the flanks did not, and they, they kept, you know, like, so the Romans were pushing forward in the middle, but not on the flanks, and they just ended up creating their own crescent and getting completely sandwiched by it. Um, so it's pretty genius, in fact. Enemy reinforcements have arrived if you haven't read about the Battle of Cannae, you should go read about it. I'm sure the Romans learned a lot about how not to fight a war at Cannae. I'm going to bring up my infantry. I'm going to probably bring a Libyan out to help support against Equites on the flanks. That Equite is now moving inside of me. That's not what I wanted. There we go. I should end up getting to wrap up this flank pretty quick. Let's put a charge together here. I've got a lot of units, so I should be able to overwhelm the AI here. Yep, we've 
kind of got a wrap up started on this one. It's just a Hestati unit. That's a Cavalry Auxilia General, so a lot less concerned about them. There is one unit still standing there, Hestati, but it just got wrecked. The Cavalry Auxilia uh, just made a big mistake. Cavalry Auxilia, sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. So the Romans are getting wrapped up hard. Getting wrapped up hard. Let's go get that artillery piece. Move our own commander up. Got my three units of cavalry and then these two heavy Libyans to support. Let's push the Libyans up. Outflanking maneuver here. Let's get into this artillery. Keep our Libyan... Actually, let's... Let's keep the Libyans up here to support. Let's bring an Iberian back to outflank all these uh, Principae, which are holding rather nicely against my Libyan spears, unsurprisingly. Uh, Principae should be the superior, st statistically speaking, unit. And I think artillery crews are armored, so we're going to see them perform well. I'm going to get my bodyguard over here, see if we can persuade that unit to rout. Okay, here comes the Roman faction leader. Let's see if we can single him out. All right, here we go. Um, the Roman faction leader is headed behind some Hastati here. Not ideal for me. Want to get to that faction leader. It looks like we are going to catch him. Take a couple of units around. Where's my commander at? He's still safe over here. Brinkapay are still pinched for now. They got an Equite. Kind of running amok over here. Alright, that Roman faction leader is sandwiched in between a couple of Libyans. The Roman sandwich here. But he's going to be a very powerful unit. Yeah, look at that. He actually routed one of my Libyan spears. I've got to get some reinforcements in here quick. Oh, get him! Wow, it wasn't, an, it wasn't a Libyan spear that killed him either. It was an Iberian swordsman. He managed to kill the Roman leader. Fortuitous development for us. And I need to get up here and take out these artillery pieces. The Roman bodyguard will now disband after having been defeated. However, it could come back for more fighting in this fight. It's just that it will disband after the fight. Wow, this is an impressive showing right here. My Libyans, first of all, fighting down to 12 men, but uh, this is an impressive showing by the Principe. There we go. Finally broke those Principe. And that bodyguard did regroup rather quickly. I'm going to get on top of it with a bunch of units. Take out the rest of this artillery. And let's get busy mopping up some Roman semi-general to chase these Principe. And that is going to be pretty much the defeat of the entire Julii army here. Get rid of those Onager crews. I'm going to go get this Velite as soon as that Onager crew is completely dead. And they are. This Ballista crew... I think those Velite are the only units left standing. As soon as they're defeated. I'm gonna go ahead and kill them. I don't know what they're a part of the garrison of here, but... I'm trying to make sure the entire enemy garrison was destroyed. That way we can just waltz into the settlement. So I, I kind of figured this could potentially happen and could be good for us in the sense that... If the Julii fought me outside the settlement and lost, that it's going to help me get into their settlement without having to fight a siege battle. Now, much the same way that my siege battle went very well against Macedon, because I, Carthage is better at fighting on the walls uh, than Macedon, the Romans are far superior at fighting on walls than Carthage. However, Carthage has better tools than Macedon does in terms of, of getting up there and fighting. But you saw there in that fight how, in a decent position, those Principe were just laying waste to my, my Libyan spears. Slowly but surely, the spearmen are well armored, which helped them last a long time in that fight, but they weren't going to win it. Um, I am going to go ahead and do the enslaving here so that it spreads the population out amongst the empire, which is 
but some of you all have been asking me to try, so there we go. So that means some of my small settlements where we're waiting on growth just got a small infusion of Roman labor. Um, and when I say labor, I mean labor that uh, doesn't really want to supply their labor and obviously will not be compensated for said supply of labor. <laughs> and we are in control of Arimin Ariminum. Ariminum, maybe, is how we say it. Ariminum? I'm guessing. E? I'm guessing the I makes an E sound. Arimin? Ariminum? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I'm trying. But I, I'm not succeeding. I may be trying, but I'm not succeeding. Let's uh, start retraining the infantry units who took the biggest beating. Maybe a little bit of cav retrain here. A lot of my infantry units turned out uh, very much intact after this fight. So I, I think we can just kind of start replenishing whatever we feel like here. And let's take a look at this Roman city real quick. I do want to tear down their rather large temple to Bacchus here. And replace it with a rather large temple to Baal eventually. Remenum is going to be very upset for a few turns. And I can't say that I'm shocked or surprised by the level of upset that they are. With the amount of money I have, I am going to go ahead and maybe put like a couple of decent garrison units in, you know, these settlements up here. I have some spears there already, so I might throw a couple of swordsmen. You know, just to just make it a little more difficult for a small army to push their way through it. Assassin ready. Still cannot successfully, like, click this. It has to go through this, whatever. He's still set to go in there and try and kill the Julii diplomat, so... Let us hope that that's still the case. I have another assassin here, and there's another Julii diplomat up here. So in Latium, I want to kill Diplomat Sextus Moose here. Is that him? No. Oh. Kill... There are so many here. Um, this is Et Etionis, or however we say that. Yeah, here he is. Not a very good chance of killing him, but, you know, I'll take chances. Get him! Did we succeed? Did we fail? Assassin misses target. Okay. That's unfortunate. Get back at my agent, and I'm gonna try it again. We have an even lower chance next time, but we'll attempt it. I gotta keep these assassins busy. He should make his attempt on this turn end. Like I said, we can't empty out a garrison too much here and make it easy for the Romans to get us. I, honestly, Thermone is in no major... Like, it's not majorly threatened at the moment. We should be okay. I've got a lot of Sacred Band, though. And this Sacred Band is going to absolutely shred Macedonians. So I'm feeling rather confident that um, we should be okay there. All right, I'm, I'm worried about Capua being bribed behind our back as well. However, if we keep the Romans in front of us, their bribing it won't make much difference because they won't have a garrison unless my garrison force, like, materializes and helps them hold the settlement. So I would feel somewhat confident, you know, that they're going to be in big trouble. Uh, one turn until we finish that in Carthage, so that's good news. That's that other army that we're training. Go back and take a look at Egypt. It's like no threatening moves from the Egyptians yet, and we will have the siege equipment in place on the next turn in. We've got a couple Libyan spears cranking out into Xenophane's armies, and with silver silver upgrades, I mean, these are going to be some pretty potent spearmen. You already have pretty solid armor um, on those Libyan spears. Let's take a look at a few things. So, buildings can continue... Um, I'm able to train basically anything I want in Thapsus that I need at this point, so maybe let's do the irrigation. Get those farms completed. And at Carthago Nova, the dockyard could be handy, because again, I, I want to be able to train Quin Quinquiremes, or however you say that, at all these other settlements. Let's go with the... I do have a character sitting up there, so I'm going to build an academy for him. Put him through school. Dockyard at Oska would be good because we have a lot of Br Britain fleets we may have to be facing down. And Oska's got a dock relatively close to that action, I believe. Um, 
Numantia, I'm, I'm just gonna build the farms because I'm not particularly worried about recruiting at uh, Numantia. Got Limonum. I like to do the public baths um, and then the temple. Croton. Um, Croton's pretty happy. Let's. We don't need the population actually right now. Let's um. Maybe do like the secret police HQ. Tingi. Armor. Alicia. Let's go ahead and get the roads. Cordoba. Cordoba, of course, got executed and are now quite happy. I guess they've learned their lesson. They uh, have not been putting up much fuss since the execution. Of course, it's hard to fuss when you're in the grave. So, understandable reaction from the no longer existent citizens of Cordoba. And for those who did manage to um, survive the extermination, they're probably rather tight-lipped. Uh, again, as we would expect for people unfortunate enough to endure such things. I'm going to take a small army. Actually, I need to retrain this army, and then I'll take it out and go fight those rebels. And then our army out here should be able to assault Trier, which is only a wooden-walled settlement. I don't see a huge Germanic army nearby, so they are in some serious trouble there. We're going to make them start to uh, lose some territory. I think I'm going to go ahead and start training more Sacred Band up here as well, because they take a long time to train. And I can use them to replenish any losses that we take in the army that's near Trier. The replenishing there. I, I could pull my army and head to Illyria, but again, I'm worried about a bribe being possible. Like, I mean, if I... Because I need to pull all of my Sacred Band units out of Croton... Um, tell you what we could do though. Nah, never, I don't need to pull them all. I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's just pull just the sacred band, put them on the boats, and let's take these sacred band. I'll take almost all of them and put them on the boats. So this gives me a huge grand phalanx here of uh, there's gonna be seven sacred band hoplites. That's enough to crush most Macedonian armies. My army barracks is gonna be complete eventually over here. But in the meantime, you know, I've got cavalry to support, uh, cavalry and slingers to support this Grand Phalanx. So, that should be good, and I can go ahead and start training again more Sacred Band Hoplites at both these settlements. That should continue to make it difficult for the Romans to bribe these settlements. And as for Hannibal, I really want to get proactive... I'm going to risk Capua being bribed because I just don't think it's going to go over well for the Romans even if they succeed. And I'm going to go ahead and move forward. And then at Capua, just to make the bribes a little tougher, I'll drop a couple Libyans um, in there so they have a slightly higher quality unit. This Roman army is actually in striking distance. I'm going to stand up here and see if we can tempt the uh, Romans into a battle. I Surely they won't take it because that would be a huge mistake, but... If history's any lesson, we shall see. Know whether my assassination attempt took place. Let's see here. Gonna be a lot of turn in moves because I've got visibility all over the Seleucid Empire there. And they are. They're in a lot of fights, so as we put pressure on Egypt, the Seleucids should become notably more powerful. Hopefully they don't immediately pull out as a protector. Oh yes, I was hoping for this. I've been wanting some sweet, sweet revenge on the Germanians, and boy are we going to get it. They've only got a few Spear Warband, and those units are going to get absolutely mulched by my Sacred Band, and whatever other units they have are going to get mulched by my, uh, my Sword and Shield Infantry. Or sword and spear, either way. Oh, revenge is going to taste sweet. It is going to taste sweet. And I think another thing I'm going to do in some of these settlements around here, not only will I be re retraining or training more Sacred Band to help replenish this army, um, we can use those Sacred Band as well as kind of garrison units. The enemy and here. in these small settlements where there's only like two the entrances Take up the sword to a town center, Sacred Band are going to be... A uh, bridge too far for almost any invading army to defeat uh, in a bottleneck. Bring our Iberians over here. 
Libyans over here. Skirmishers. Okay, there we go. So this is a little better organized for what I want. I'm going to put Libyan spears on the far flanks. Help against any cavalry threats. Support my own cavalry. Go out. I, I like to march out of phalanx formation. All my phalanx units. And I suggest you do the same. I'm actually going to throw my skirmishers out here to one flank in case they bring up a bunch of spear war band on a flank. Then I can use the skirmishers as bait. And this formation should work just fine right here. Let's let's give it a go. Enemy reinforcements have arrived in battle. All right, what we want to do is seek an immediate engagement with the spear war band with our sacred band. To fast forward a bit. Uh, most of the German units are going to be having a combat bonus in the snow, but it will not do them much good, depending on what they're facing up against. These Axemen and Night Raiders. Night Raiders can scare, though, so make sure you give those guys some respect. Don't let your units get singled out by them. Move this Sacred Band this way. Push here. My Skirmishers are going to chew up some of that Spear War Band. Oh, I got charged by Night Raiders. Crap. Hurry. Roll up on him. Okay, we should... Yeah, we wrapped up the Night Raiders rather quickly. All right, yeah, watch my Sacred Band. They are going to just gut these Spear War Bands. <laughs> Absolutely gut them. This is why we brought the Sacred Band. So that I don't have to uh, play games anymore with the uh, Germanics wannabe Phalanx units here. Show them what a real phalanx unit looks like. Yep. Alright, the Germans are in some serious do. They are going to be feeling it. Okay, crushed that unit. This unit's going to get caught by my sacred band on that flank. They're going to rout. I do have a Sacred Band that got pinched here between two Phalanx units. I'm going to hurry to support. I don't think my Sacred Band will break. I'm going to charge into the back of this unit because they're not in a Phalanx formation. And then I'll go into Phalanx and whip this one around. So, Sacred Band are not invincible. They're very tough. They're not invincible. Now they're pinched between two Phalanx units. <laughs> And mine are significantly higher quality, so have fun with that. Filthy spear war bands. Okay. What's going on out here? Barbarian noble cavalry, and apparently I threw a long shield in and sacrificed it to Bail. Continuing to run units down, so I made a mistake back here with my clicking. There's a screeching women supporting a cavalry unit. And we ended up getting wrapped up by a noble cav, so... Mistakes were made. Wrapped up another Spear War Band there. And I've got my last Sacred Band. And that Noble Cavalry slammed into us here. I'm going to escort these Spear War Bands off the battlefield. General gets killed by Libyans, who are quite excellent, uh, even against Armored Cavalry in this case. Yeah, you can see their phalanx units want to engage my uh, skirmishers. That is not going to happen at this point. The, the only thing they're going to get to engage is my sacred band. And they can like it, but they won't like it. I'm saying they can like it, but I, I'm assuming that they will choose not to like it. Put my cavalry back behind here so there's nothing for them to threaten. Run the sacred band up. So even with a height disadvantage... Again, my Sacred Band are going to absolutely mulch the Spear War Band. Get all the way up on their flank here. We don't have a kill counter, unfortunately, on these units, but I'm sure it would be increasing rapidly at the moment. My infantry is not moving up, so I'm going to kind of force them forward a little. See if we can push harder into the flank. Ha, look at these guys doing like a dance back into my sacred band. 
They're more than uh, more than welcome to continue this. Did I get all my uh, long shield cavalry killed? No, not all of it. Just some of it. This spear war band should start to fall apart. Getting tired of this one ignoring me, so I'm gonna come out of phalanx formation and just straight up charge him. This one came back from routing. A little bit shocked there. There we go. That's how you phalanx, Germania. That is how you phalanx. Okay. Take notes. Actually, don't take notes. Just keep losing. That works just fine for me. I'm going to run down a few more of their Spear Warband. And uh, get some of these ones over here as well. And again, that was with a combat bonus in the snow, folks. Um, how badly my Sacred Band dumped all over these units. Like I said, that was with a combat bonus in the snow. If there was woods, they would have had even more combat bonus. But just snow here. So with a combat bonus, they got absolutely dumped on. I'm gonna kill these last couple Axemen here. Not that it really matters that much, but there we go. And uh, if we take a look at some of the stats, let's go to my Sacred Band here. Look at this, 162, 398. But look at the but look at the casualty sustained. So 162 to 47 was the best scenario for the Germanians. <laughs> 398 to 78. Uh, 97 to 6, 213 to 17. Yeah, I mean, so the their phalanx units got absolutely shredded. It was like they got thrown into a wood chipper. That was definitely my intention with fielding those units, knowing that the uh, the Germans would have um, absolutely no chance. All right, so let's see, success at Trier, uh, though they apparently got away with just a little bit of garrison here. That's that's very frustrating. Um, we can probably just auto resolve this assault. All they have is a single spear war band. I don't know how they obtained this spear war band because their units came out and died. But I'm gonna auto save just in case I get really screwed. I don't have a general form to kill here, so should be safe. Should be safe. And we'll enslave this population at Trier. We cannot retrain my sacred band, but I am training units that can come and help replenish them. And to help give some needed reinforcements to hold Trier as well. As I do wish to move on to other German settlements and continue to put pressure on them. Looks like the uh, Romans are still kind of standing outside of Riminum, hoping to uh, threaten me. I can't say I'm feeling particularly threatened. I also forgot we were building an army here, too, and we're done with the Libyan Spearman portion of it. Uh, we need some cavalry for this army, and I'm going to go ahead and train it up here so that I can pick it up along the road to Rome. Maybe it needs to be the road to Germania, who knows, while I grab some slingers here at Massilia. So there we go. So I've got some training underway there. We have a city expanded at Tingi, so let's go ahead and queue up that um, settlement upgrade. We'll pull it over here in front of the blacksmith building that was already underway. Assassin missed our target, which is unfortunate. Let's try again. Our chances are diminishing, but hey! Where at first you don't succeed, scythe, scythe again. Looks like we, we missed. Assassin ready. So I can't try again until the next turn. Who shall die this day? <laughs> they they did bribe Capua. I should have known. Because <laughs> I couldn't assassinate their dap diplomat. Uh, they, they did end up bribing Capua. That's hilarious. Merchant. Another yeah, diplomat here. I've got a very low chance of success. Oh, we got him though. Take that. Bribe that, sucker. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Good stuff. They have a faction leader right here, too. 
I guess he wishes to sacrifice himself to Bale. Uh, you were saying? Yeah, that, that's what I thought. I could see Jerome right now. There's certainly nothing stopping me from it. And I don't think they're going to be able to bribe these settlements down here very, very easily. Especially not as more sacred band come. I could just put the siege on Rome and force him into a fight. Um, and then if I have to, of course, you know, I can I can fall back. I would need to fall back this way. That might be difficult because of the way we got hit at Capua here. Let's go ahead and load up some troops, though. I got all these Balearic Slingers and Libyan Spears. And I've got a general here. Who's the general we should take? Who's got the best command skill? The governor actually has the best command skill. Let's leave someone else to uh, govern the city. And let's take our army, load up on the ships. And then what do we got over here at Thapsus? I've got my elephants and long shields now on the boat as well. I could probably use a little bit more like just standard infantry here. I don't have them, um, but I mean, this army is fairly potent, albeit it's not a full 20 stack, but that shouldn't be the end of the world. And you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to load up a couple more of these young generals since I have room on the ship. I'm going to come drop them over here um, at, at Croton and Terran Tomb, so they'll have a governor to make it that much more difficult to... Um, bribe those settlements as they did with Capua, and I was kind of certain they would try it because the AI kind of sits on endless money. So I'm not terribly surprised that they did that. Um, let's begin the sale over here. Willie Byam kind of needs a governor too, but they'll just have to wait. Looks like the rebel forces have combined over here. That's fine. Not particularly worried about it. And we have the siege equipment to take Alexandria. There's very little that would stop us from doing so. I'm going to do a quick save there. Assault. And then I should be able to uh, auto-resolve. I know it would be f fun to have a little more fight from the Egyptians here, but... Never know. I mean, I have an old general here. They might try and kill him. Clear victory. victory is ours. Enslave the population of Alexandria. That'll spread out. Quite a few units, and um, we've actually captured the um, the lighthouse at Alexandria as well. So, good stuff there. After Alexander's death, his empire disintegrated, and his generals fought each other in Egypt. Ptolemy Sotor made himself pharaoh, and around 290 BC started construction of a lighthouse on an island off the coast. This land had long been regarded as dangerous for shipping. The scholars of the Great Library were involved in its design and construction, which was completed in the reign of Ptolemy Philadelphus, or Philadelphus at night. A beacon was kept burning, while during the day a mirror system reflected sunlight to catch the attention of sailors. The lighthouse is more than 117 meters high. Holy cow. Roughly a 40-story building. It was topped by a statue of Poseidon, the god of the sea, until it, it was relatively intact until an earthquake in 1303. And 1323. Huh. Pretty fascinating. So we've captured both the Great Pyramid and the Lighthouse at Alexandria. So that is good news for us. The Egyptians will be none too happy to, uh, as I'm going to come in and I'm going to tear down um, their temples. Like that temple to Horus, which is currently damaged. I'm going to rip it down and replace it with a shrine to Baal, as we have been doing in Memphis. Anyway, so I'd say this was a... Ah, we're not quite done with this episode. We're not quite done with this episode, though. We're, we're close. We're close. I think I am just going to siege Rome and force, force the Romans to fight for it. Bring it on. Bring it on. Let's fight. Hannibal ain't scared. I got another army on the way, by the way, too, so I am not scared. Um, our ships here, though, can take our phalanx across. We'll have to wait till the next turn to disembark them. We can give them the slingers and the cavalry, and all of a sudden I'm going to have a very capable army. Albeit it's commanderless, I'm going to have a very capable army um, there. I'd probably need to bring... I'm not super worried about 
see what being bought off, though maybe I should be. I'd really like to get this general up here so that I can swap the followers over, but maybe I can just go ahead and get started on that, because this guy's very old, and he's likely to kick the bucket. So, Adderball Arsenal, and we're going to move them over here to this guy. So let's, let's move followers. I'm sure I'm saying these guys' names wrong, not pretending. It should be relatively low um, number of moves to get these tainers over. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's the guy right there. Yep, that's him. So this is one of the ones we're going to move. It's going to take three turns, but let's move that armor. And... don't see any of there. Here's another one, an Egyptian turncoat. Let's move that one over. And let's see, any others? This one? Idiot servant. <laughs> nice. Move him over. Not that. Master of Archers, no. Uh, this dude right here, mercenary captain. Trying to manage these followers on the older ones. This dude right here, the priest of Melquart. And that's all we can move. So let's confirm that, get the followers moving so that we can have a better general there. When this one dies, we'll be able to have passed all those followers on. So got that done. And I think we're ready to end another turn here. I actually am going to go ahead and call this episode here. I know it's a bit shorter, but this is a good ending point. A good ending point. We had some success. We captured... A, yeah, how do you say the Rim? I'm saying a Rimanu, but I'm sure it's pronounced differently. Um, Alexandria, uh, we also captured, so that's a big capture. We've got an army on the way to Thermon. We've got another army on the way to Italy to reinforce Hannibal, who's already being reinforced from the north. Uh, Germanians just lost Trier and are now facing Sacred Band Infantry, which is going to be supported um, from Alicia, which will soon have uh, paved roads to help move those troops around even faster. Britons are bottled up. Uh, our enemies are in trouble. Our enemies are in trouble, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, Macedon has really no way to siege Thermon, and once our Sacred Band shows up, even on the open battlefield, they are going to pay a hefty price for fighting our troops. Looks like they got an army up here in the pass. Let's keep this cannot make any more assassination attempts this turn. It's another... Who is this idiot? Merchant. Oh, yes, we, we don't have a good chance of killing him, but... I would like to try, nonetheless. But I'm gonna have to wait till the next episode. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. Air of Carthage, signing out for now. I will see you soon.